Hi guys, Victoria Hussit here with VK Consulting. And today let's talk about taxes. Specifically, how to file your personal income taxes using TurboTax with a specific situation. In today's example, I will show you how to file taxes if you are filing as a US resident, but you do have a form 1042S with the number 16 in the box. Who gets this form? If you are on a student visa and you graduate student and you work at the university, university will give you a 1042S form for the money that they pay you. You will have income and you will have taxes paid. There are certain rules and if you've been in United States for over five years and you qualified to all the points that on that one paper of qualification, let's just say you met all the requirements and you are able now to file as a US resident, you will file form 1040 instead of form 1040 and R non-resident. But now there is a question, what do you do with form 1042S and how do you enter it in the system? And in this video, I will show you what to do with this form and how to enter it. So let's start. Now let's look at TurboTax screen. And again, this is my test account. I'm just playing with it. Everything is not real, numbers just there for the placement. So I already entered um, personal information and my taxpayer whose name is Alex already received his W-2. He has a W-2 from PK Consulting. And last year he got $10,000 and this year he got $30,000. I didn't really fill it up com completely. That's why it says needs review. But we're not going to be focusing on fixing mistakes in my W-2 and entering all the information. I want to show you where to enter Form 1042-X. When you're looking at Form 1042-S, make sure it does have number 16 in the box. And it means that you got this form for scholarship. There is two places you will need to enter information. So income that you receive through 1042S will need to go into wages. So once you're on the wages page, you need to scroll down to less common income. Right here, there is different less common income. It's like home sales, cancellation of debt, gambling, installment sales you need to come to the last one, miscellaneous income, 1099A, 1099C, and click on star. So another screen opens up. Other income not already reported on W-2, forgiveness of PPP loans, recovery of bad debt. There is a lot of information here you can enter. You need other income not already reported on W-2. You click star. When the windows opened up, TurboTax is going to ask you to upgrade, and you do need to upgrade. I was in the free edition, and now we're moving to the lux. And right here it's asking other wages received. Wages as a household employee, sick or disability, excess salary, defer, other earned income. So in our case, 1042S is treated as a W-2. So we're going to say yes. Is it household employee wage? No. So just skip here. Sick or disability pay? No. Next question, any other earned income? Yes. Once you're on this screen, enter source of other earned income. Employee compensation that was not reported on W-2 or other. You want to choose other. And right here, you would write scholarship. And 
put fifteen thousand dollars. In my example, let's just say it's fifteen thousand dollars, and then click done. So now you see our federal tax due changed and state changed. Now usually 1042 as forms have income and have taxes withhold. Now, when we took care of income, we need to take care of taxes. And in order to enter taxes, we would go deductions and credits. Once the window open up for your tax breaks, you will need to scroll down to estimated and other taxes fees. You will click on show more, the window gonna open up, drop down menu, and you are looking for income taxes fees. Click revisit. And in the new window, you will look, scroll down to the bottom and look for other income taxes paid in 2021. And the first option was holding not already entered on W2 or 1099. Click start and just answer the question. Do you have any taxes holding? You haven't entered yet. Yes. And the amount we paid $1,995. No state withholding, no local withholding. So click continue. And you see our tax refund changed again. You can click continue and be done with your income if it's the only income you have. Now, in order to see your full tax return, you will need to pay TurboTax and print a copy. But there is a way to see just your form 1040 just to make sure that your numbers are all on a tax form. And in order to do this, you need to go to the black side panel, click on tax tools, then tools, view tax summary. Tax summary now showing you total income and taxes. Here, if you look again back to the black part, sidebar, it says preview my 1040. Once clicked on 1040, the form 1040 gonna open up and we will be able to see our schedule, actual income tax return, which gonna have your information, your social security address, any dependents, and again, everything for me is uh, not real information. My street is a happy fit, couldn't come up with anything else on a fly. So here it is, wages and salary. We have $30,000 from VK Consulting, and we have 15000 from scholarships from the university. 12,550 standard deduction for a single person, which bring in taxable income to $32,450. Tax calculated on this amount is $3,698. And now let's look what we already paid. Line 25 shows federal income tax withhold. We have $3,000 paid from W2, from VK Consulting, and we have $1,995 paid from our form 1042F, bringing total amount to $4,995. Now, just a simple calculation between total tax due and payment that we already made bring us to a refund in this example of $1,297. And this is how you file your resident alien tax return where you have a student visa, for example, and you are working at a university and you have taxable income and you're receiving Form 1042S. You don't know what to do with it and how to file your taxes. Use TurboTax. I'm sure other software do it as well. TurboTax is just one of many. I know how to do it in this software, and I thought that I will make this video to show it to you. I hope this was useful, and right now is the tax season, and it's hot. I 
suggest you guys e-file, do not mail your tax returns. If you don't have to, if you're able to e-file, please do so. And um, hopefully everybody gonna get their refund on time and pretty soon. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe.